Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Justin and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video where today the V6.2 patch notes have finally released for Fortnite and that's really exciting because it brings Fortnite Mares 2018 and I'm assuming a lot more stuff. I've not seen the patch notes as of yet. I'll be going over all of them with you guys for the first time in this video. And along with that, they actually have a Fortnite Mares 2018 trailer. So let's right away react to this bad boy, see what they have for us, and let's just get into it. Okay, the honk is- oh, there it is. There's- there's- there's the uh, cube. Okay, new skin. The bus just crashed. Oh. It's in a corrupted zone. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, I'm on. Take it back. Green! The pumpkin launcher. <laughs> are, are, are we gonna save the world? What? Okay. We saw the six shooter, which is the brand new uh, uh, revolver type of gun in this update as well. It says, do you feel lucky partner? Show off your gunslinger skills with the new six shooter. But like, are we in Save the World? I've never played Save the World, so I'm not sure if this is what they look like in the game, but that that was insane. The, the, oh, I, I, let's just keep it going. So we do know that the, gla the glider, the glider redeploy is coming to all game modes, testing for a week, which is going to be interesting. I'm not too sure how I feel about that, but we're gonna see where it goes. RD321. And along with that, we have new playground items, which is awesome. I was playing a ton of playgrounds earlier, messing around the Spike Stadium, wishing there were more things, and we finally have some. So, um, man your stations, a new pirate ship, a minigame, and other fun additions are now available in playground, as well as changes to the Spiky Stadium. Well, there you go. So, that's pretty cool. You can do a little like launching type of mini game i mean i'm sure we're gonna see tons of things with this item uh in a battle royale playgrounds mode but let's go down to the actual patch notes uh save the world is a 50 percent off if you guys care about that i might personally buy it i'm not sure but moving on to a battle royale so the limited time event for nightmares i am very excited for this so um summary the cube strikes back bringing fort nightmares to battle royale drop in and discover what the cube has unleashed remember darkness rises what's new cube fragments spawn cube monsters drop in and discover the different types large cube fragments are found near corrupted areas of the island and, and small cube fragments are randomly created throughout the match that's gonna be crazy for endgame um cube fiends brutes and fragments all have a tran a chance to drop loot which at least is something so it's kind of yo it's kind of like blackout when you kill the zombies that you get loot from those zombies uh, so that's kind of a cool little thing i'm i'm connecting right here um uh, defeating a cube fiend or brute will grant a small amount of shield so like how kevin granted shield way back in the day that's really cool <gasps> We have a crossbow. The Fiend Hunter crossbow has been added. A brand new weapon. Guys, expect gameplay with that weapon as soon as the update uh, is finished and we can have the servers back online. Expect that video ASAP. So it's available in just epic variant. It does 40 base damage. You can shoot uh, 1.8 shots per second and you get 4x damage against fiends and you have seven arrows in the magazine with limited ammo like the old crossbow we used to have them and it can be found from floor loot chests and vending machines um, oh there's so much stuff to cover so playgrounds mode new porta grenades Porta grenades are available in vending machines and the southern edge of loot lake the porta challenge set includes the building challenge obstacle challenge uh, or obstacle course rather and firing range mini games i guess i'll be making videos on all of these things as well so much to do uh, there's four types of each uh, there's four of each type with varying difficulty the spiky stadium makes a return to the brand new respawn system and vending machines to provide all the necessary grenades and um, finally there's the porta pirate ship we saw earlier which is really really cool so uh, 
with the obstacle course with the port of challenger you collect tokens and avoid the obstacles while honing your building skills so a way to get better at building that's cool um building challenge build the structures as fast as possible like build battle for minecraft um firing range take out as many dummies as you i mean we all know what that's going to be about spiky stadium of v2 once inside a players will respawn at a designated spawn point inside the play space and vending machines as we know will provide grenades and traps you can customize what's going on and with the port of pirate ship it's a recreation of a mini game i mean i'm sure we've seen things in minecraft as well tons of other places i i don't know who this is and i'm not seeing the mini game that they're referring to but i'll definitely look it up um it spawns two large wooden pirate ships and the mini game will split players into two teams uh, with the goal of destroying the other team's ship so basically just battleship realistically and and um you can spawn two large metal pirate ships which do have grenades and rockets provided um, along with new vending machines that have been added across the map so you get more traps and weapons and a new respawn but they are making um, just the right decisions every single corner this is insane they're making a sandbox game within the bat this is insane um so weapons and items of course we have the six shooter which will be in that same video with the crossbow one you get it in uncommon rare and epic so it does 34 36 or 38 base damage um you shoot from the hip to fire faster or you trade that rate by just adsing and which does make a lot of sense it uses medium ammo another gun to use medium ammo nice um it can be found from floor loot chests and vending machines the rocket launcher is now the pumpkin rocket launcher i love that thing so much i am so excited to have it back in the game um the hand cannon apparently got balanced so it does increase damage to structures uh, and that's actually a very significant damage amount so epic goes from 79 damage to 150 which will completely destroy a wood uh build and legendary goes from 83 to 157 and that is huge um, they have finally increased the damage it does which is amazing so if you're using an epic one it goes from 30 to 50 um, and a legendary goes from 31 to 52 um, and if you get a headshot in those same ranges the epic uh, goes up to 100 and the legendary goes up to 104 thank you epic the deagle is finally useful again um, and last but not least in the weapon category is the stink bomb they have increased the chance to find it from the floor by 0.2 percent and to find it from chest uh by 1.7 percent which is awesome the sink bombs are really really powerful so it's nice like we're going to be seeing more of those um uh with that within the map so moving on to gameplay we do have that glider redeploy functionality so it's basically when you jump from anywhere that's three stories or higher you can start redeploying your glider making for some insane mobility and again they're testing this for a week so within a week's time it'll either stay in the game or they may adjust it or change it or or what have you it depends on our feedback and how what they see through the data so uh weapons uh, now reload upon respawning modes they keep the player's inventory that's pretty cool and we have a uh, some changes to the storm so um, the wait time for phase three has been reduced from 120 seconds to 90 um, and the wait time for phase five has been reduced from 70 to 50 seconds um and then a late game moving circles will now immediately begin traveling to a new location after it reaches its current destination that's going to be insane um, I'm gonna have to deal with that in the skirmish this weekend and the maximum damage has been reduced from 10 to 8 so um I'm assuming uh, this will all be pushed slightly to um, making it more of a fight as opposed to a heal off. I guess we're going to see what this actually does. Um, and along with that, players will now take two damage per second while in their knock state instead of two damage every two seconds, which means if you're down, you got to get them back up, man. Otherwise, they're dying even faster because as opposed to taking only two damage every two seconds, uh, they're taking four damage every two seconds. So um, that's actually pretty insane. Um, and the maximum time in the knockout state has been reduced from 100 seconds to 50 um, which is again a very serious change and in terms of bug fixes for the gameplay they have removed the ability to rocket ride <laughs> you can do that i mean that's probably for the better i didn't even know you could do that i never tested it before and then of course we have some changes to the audio ui and the art and animation plus of course mobile things so um that is everything in this update so many things to go over guys make sure you subscribe ring those bells and drop a like in this video and share it around them i'll be making a video as soon as the servers are up about the new guns about some playground stuff all of these things uh, will be coming in the next few hours so make sure you guys are 
subscribe so you can catch it when it goes live so um without further ado let me know your thoughts on this patch i'm super excited definitely our biggest patch ever this is absolutely insane um, and without further ado i will talk to you all later have a nice day guys thank you all so much for watching peace out